No, you cannot go with us. Garfield, I promised Liz a night out with just the two of us. Besides, you're not allowed in vetoes anymore. Not after what you did last time there. No, we're not giving up. Wait here. Suction cups, I've been saving them for an emergency. And right now, not getting to go to Vito's is an emergency. Here, put one on each paw and do as I do. So, how did he get himself banned from Vito's? I think it was the trick with the bungee cord. Let us see. A table eight ordered a plate of pasta with a meat sauce. <laughs> a chicken of parmesan with a side of penne. <laughs> a plate of spaghetti marinara. Hey, where did all the other dishes go? <laughs> uh, could I get an order to go? You pasta pilfering a pussy cat. You fettuccine filching a feline. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the marinara sauce. Yeah. She is a perfect. Truly throw myself into everything I could. And after they hauled Vito out of the marinara sauce and gave him artificial respiration, he <laughs> banned Garfield from his restaurant. In fact, he banned all animals. I can't even take Odie in. So I guess we won't be seeing Garfield or Odie at Vito's for a while. They wouldn't dare to try and get in there. <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Arbuckle. Vito's lasagna just for the two of you. Mmm, it smells delicious. He's <laughs> cause it is delicious. Oh, Vito's lasagna. So close and yet so far. The lasagna just sits there, looking delicious, mocking me. Allowing itself to be consumed by others. There must be a way to get us in there where that lasagna is. This is called thinking, Odie. You ought to try it sometime. Don't complain. You're just jealous because I have the legs for this. It is always a pleasure to welcome you into my humble restaurant, Mr. Arbuckle. Providing you come without the cat. I told Garfield he had to stay home. And he obeys me because I am firm and... <gasps> Huh? Oh. Ah, you brought your little bambinas, and how charming they are. Garfield? Garfield? Where is that handsome cat? I'm going to take you home and lock you in the basement until you're... Ah, Barco, ah. what a nice surprise running into you here. Uh, 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 Mr. Barker, yes, uh, Liz, this is Mr. Barker. I do cartoons for a magazine he publishes. Nice to meet you, Mr. Barker. Uh, you know, Arbuckle, I was thinking you weren't the right kind of person to fit in with my magazine. You're firing me? I was considering it, but seeing you here with your lovely family... F -f -f family <laughs> I misjudged you. Families are the bedrock of society. I like employing a man with a lovely family. How long have you two been married? M married? Oh, oh, no, we're not. Uh, huh? Liz and I have been married for, uh, how long is it, dear? Mm -hmm. Ten five years. years. Uh, five years. Uh, ten years. Hey, I forget how long I've been married, too. The point is, you have these two lovely daughters. <laughs> uh, Vito, more lasagna. Uh, coming right up, Mr. Arbuckle. I never knew Mr. Arbuckle had kids. I didn't want to say anything. But the one on the right, she has the face of a puppy dog. More <laughs> Vito's lasagna on the way! Hiya, Normal. What you been up to? Oh, same thing as always. Just being adorable. Mm -mm. Vito.
tomato sure smells great. Oh, sure does. Wish I could get me some of that delicious food. This way. Oh, the viewers of my show are absolutely gonna uh. love this. John, tell him the truth. Tell him we aren't married and these aren't our daughters. But he's my boss, and he thinks it's nice that I have a wife and kids. Huh? Hey, ho, food This is everyone's favorite food critic, Eddie Gorman! <laughs> Coming to you live from Vito's Pizzeria. Buongiorno. Vito's is a fabulous place to revel in ravioli and munch on manicotti. Oh, on the side, mm -hmm. excuse me, Mr. Gourmand, more pasta for table two. Oh, let's see who's having this feast at table two. Ah, I like a man who cares enough about his children to feed them well. They sure have healthy appetites. Yeah. Hey, isn't that Garfield? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Garfield. I'd know that sound anywhere. They're having a feast in there. How do we get ourselves some of that? We need dresses and wigs. Where are we gonna... I'll do anything for Italian food. Huh, I can't believe it. I'm even cuter this way. This is John Arbuckle. He's a cartoonist who works for my magazine. <laughs> oh! Hello, Mr. Arbuckle. And this is his wife, Liz, and their two beautiful daughters. Uh... Hey, let us have some of that. <clears throat> let us have some of that. Excuse me, there are four beautiful daughters. <laughs> Arbuckle, you and your wife, Lynn, have such lovely children. My brother is married? With four kids? Oh, Dad! It says on TV that John not only married Liz, but that they have four daughters. Why didn't our daughter tell us if she married that cartoonist? John, how often do you come here to Vito's with oh. Miss Arbuckle and the little Arbuckle children? Uh, well, I, uh, <laughs> well, that is... John, this has gone on oh. long enough. Either you tell them the truth or I will. Uh, I have something to tell you uh, about my wife and daughters. <laughs> hey, you notice when John lies, he turns the same color as Vito's red sauce. Mm. I want another meatball. I want six meatballs and more garlic bread. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Mr. Arbuckle's daughters, they eat more than that cat of his. What is it you're trying to tell me, Mr. Arbuckle? Uh, well, you know, I, I work for Mr. Barker here and... Oh, indeed he does. I'm so impressed with his great family here. I'm giving Arbuckle a big promotion and a raise. <laughs> Oops, dropped my napkin. I don't look good with marinara huh? sauce all over my dress. Mamma mia! Who oh, these it is? <gasps> the pussy gatto huh? in my restaurant! And the puppy dog! And another pussy gatto! And you! Trick or treat! Could I have another pepperoni pizza, please? All of you! All of you! All of you! Out of my restaurant! Out! Oh. And you can make that to go. Ah, uh, Barker, your daughters are cats and dogs? Uh, I can explain, Mr. Barker. Well, no, I can't, but... <laughs> the truth, John. <laughs> women and children first. Especially cats dressed like women and children. When I get my hands on you, cat... <laughs> This is terrible. They simply ruined the end of my show. Out, all of you out, and never talk in my pizzeria again. Mr. Barker, Liz isn't my wife, and these obviously were not my daughters, and I'm sorry I let you believe that. 
<laughs> Arbuckle, this is the funniest thing I ever saw. Draw it up as a cartoon and send it in. I'll give you a bonus. There, you see, John? You kept your job. Things didn't turn out so bad. Whew. We didn't get dessert. <laughs> I guess everything did work out okay. We didn't get dessert. Almost forgot. Here is the bill for what your daughters <sighs> ate. Pay me and then never come in again. <sighs> everything worked out almost okay. We still didn't get dessert. Vito will get over it in a day or so. He always does. You're right. But right now, I just want to relax and not have anyone else upset with me. Surprise! Surprise! Congratulations on your wedding. Congratulations on your marriage. I, I know you'll be real happy. Why oh. didn't you tell us? I, I can explain. Listen, I can explain! Hey, Odie. Wedding cake. We did get dessert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, no, no, not the couple on top. That's plastic. dinner on the table. I'll be right in with the lasagna, guys. Be careful, it's very hot. I don't care if it's hot, just as long as it's here. Yuck! Yuck! Is putting it mildly. <clears throat> Instead of this, could we, like, uh, have some food, please? I'm sorry you don't like it. It's Joe's frozen microwave lasagna. I didn't have time to make fresh. Can you live with it? <laughs> all right, all right. Get in the car. We'll go to Vito's. Mm. Vito, you're the master. And I tell you, this is a lot better than Joe's frozen microwave lasagna. So is appendicitis. Oh, I thank you. But the true master was a man who taught me how to cook, the great Giuseppe Squisito. He made the best lasagna in the world. He was your teacher? He was my teacher, my mentor, my hero. The greatest Italian chef who ever molded a meatball. We were so fortunate, those of us who got to train under him. You call yourself a chef. I should make you all to turn in your soil to aprons. Tell me, what are the two most important ingredients in anything you cook? Your heart and your soul. I can hear you. Your heart and your soul. Until you learn that, you will never be worthy of the honor of being called a chef. If only I could hear him call me that. Well, invite him. I'm sure he... Oh, no, 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 he retired, uh, disappeared long before I opened the Vitos here. No one knows where he is, or even if he is still among us. Hmm. Quiet, Odie. Many a night, I dream of him seeing it, tasting my marinara and saying, Vito, you are a chef. Ah, but it will never happen. Hey, let me get you some of Vito's world-famous thick crust pizza, eh? Vito's a good guy. I hope someday he sees that Chef Squisito again. The best lasagna in the world.
The best lasagna in the world. The best lasagna in the world. The best lasagna in the world. The best lasagna in the world. I've got to have it. I've got to have it. I've got to have the best lasagna in the world. Squeak, wake up. Wake up, Squeak. Garfield, you woke me up, right? In the middle of a keys dream. Squeak, I need your help. Oh, it was about cheddar. That's my favorite. Squeak, I need you to alert the mouse network. I have to find a chef named Giuseppe Squizito. Uh, can't it wait till morning? Sure. <laughs> All right, it's morning. Find him. He's the man who makes the best lasagna in the world. on the table. How do you expect me to eat this when the best lasagna in the world is out there, just somewhere waiting to be eaten? <laughs> hey, I have to keep my strength up. Garfield, Garfield, my friend Irv here found him. Tell him, Irv. You're uh, looking for Chef Giuseppe Squizito? Desperately. Well, I moved. I now live in a cheese factory. Lucky guy. And Chef Squizito, he comes in all the time to buy mozzarella, ricotta, and parmesan. <gasps> the three basic ingredients in the best lasagna in the world. <laughs> Take me to him. Take me to him right now. Can we walk faster? He lives in a shack out this way. Why are we going all the way out here, Garfield? Because I must have the best lasagna in the world. That's it. He lives there. Thanks. OK, you guys can go home. I'm going to go eat the best lasagna in the world. <laughs> Kitty cat, what do you want? Ah, 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 ah. Do you want the lasagna? Meow. The best lasagna in the world? <laughs> no. So you think Garfield will get lasagna? Garfield always gets lasagna. <sighs> yeah, I know I look stupid, but there's nothing I won't do for the best lasagna in the world. <laughs> Down here, Tiny. A little bambino left on my doorstep. Are you hungry, a little baby? Yeah, hungry. Then I get you the most delicious food any baby would want to eat. <laughs> Here we come. The best. <laughs> Baby food made out of turnips and oatmeal. <laughs> Do not cry, little bambino. Squizito will find you something you will like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't laugh. You used to sound just like this. <laughs> Here, a little one. You will like this. Hmm, this is not working out. I need to find some paper. What am I going to do? I cannot keep a baby around here, even a homely, fuzzy one. How can I find it's a mother? <laughs> a note? I did not notice a note there before. If you find this baby, please feed it the best lasagna in the world. <laughs> 
with his mother. No, I do not think a lasagna is a healthy food for little babies. Then returning him to 150 West Central Avenue. Come, my little bambino. I take you back to your mother. Are you sure you don't want to grab a quick bite before we do this? This is 150 West Central Avenue. Vito's Pizzeria? You live here, a little baby? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Chef Esquisito! Oh, oh, Chef Esquisito, it is you! Do you not remember me? Uh, Vito Capelletti, I was one of your students. Vito Capelletti, one of my worst students. You were the one who tried putting spaghetti on a barbecue. <sighs> Yes, but uh, I learned. I learned from you. And, and now I have my own restaurant. Uh, please, uh, taste my tagliatelle. Uh, sample my spumoni. I would not soil my taste buds with your cooking. <sighs> but I am a good cook now. For... You could not possibly be a... Um... Hey, that's not a bad meatball. You... You like it? In fact, it is a very good meatball. Tell me, how is your cannelloni? My cannelloni? It is, uh, it's a... Uh... It is, uh, on the way. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I have here a nice cannelloni for you. Ah, I want you to try my fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, and you must try my chicken marsala and my garlic bread. Vito, you truly are a chef. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, grazie, maestro. Uh, thank you. And you, pussy gato, I am in your debt for making this happen. How can I show my appreciation? <gasps> Garfield, I don't know how you did it. You actually got Chef Squisito to come here and prepare uh -huh. his world-famous lasagna for us. I have not cooked in many years, not since I retired. I sold my recipe to a company that markets it as... Ah, it is ready. Woohoo! Ah! Wow! Here you are! Joe's a frozen a microwave lasagna. Uh, Chef Squisito. I don't know how to tell you this, but we tried Joe's frozen microwave lasagna, and it was... terrible. <clears throat> terrible? But it is so tasty and so easy to make. You just peel off the plastic film and microwave it. Plastic film? Uh... Hey, if you take the plastic film off before you cook it, mm. This is the best lasagna in the world. Uh, mm, mm, oh. This is my last decent pair of shorts. Uh, where's my voice recorder? <clears throat> don't forget to buy new underwear. Never mind underwear. Don't forget to feed your beloved cat. Oh, Garfield, I'm taking Liz out for the evening. 
In that case, don't forget to put on pants. I don't have time to fix you dinner, so I'll order something delivered for you. What would you like? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a dozen different takeout menus. I want beef tostadas from the Mexican place, mugu gai pan and ribs from the Chinese place, pastrami on rye and potato salad. You may have one meal from one place. <laughs> He's trying to starve me. I won't make it, I tell you. <laughs> one meal from one restaurant. That's all I can afford. Now, make your selection. You're a cruel man, John Arbuckle. Mm. One dinner? It's barbaric. <laughs> Don't distract me, Odie. I have to make the most important decision of my life. Cheeseburger, falafel, scallops. <sighs> no matter what I pick, I won't get enough food. Wouldn't you like a delicious piping hot pizza? Hello. I am Vito, owner of Vito's Pizzeria. You could order this masterpiece delivered to your home tonight. Yeah, but I'd only get one. Delivery is super fast. If your pizza isn't at your door in 20 minutes, your order is free. Free? That's right, I said free. Idea. So, call mm. this number right now. <laughs> One pepperoni pizza as requested. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. <laughs> Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? Right away, Signore Arbuckle. <laughs> well, your pizza will be here soon. I'm sorry I could only get you one meal. We'll see about that. Hmm, Vito's Pizza. I wonder if Liz is in the mood for Italian food. to do. Seconds. Pizza's free. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, you wanted some? Well, fear not, pup. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Let's see here. Playback. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. Hi, Vito, this is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? On my way, Signore Arbuckle. Let's see, which house has all those annoying chihuahuas? <sighs> this one. I smell the pizza box.
will go in the back way so as to avoid that horrible front walk away. <laughs> ah, I am here with wheels to spare. <laughs> <laughs> That pizza delivery man. Oh, I hope he's here in time. <laughs> Just missed it. Vito <laughs> mm, should be back at his restaurant by now. Vito's Pizzeria. Vito speaking, I think. Don't forget to buy new underwear. <laughs> Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? Right away, Signore Arbuckle. Hey, But, but, even with the detour, I will still get this pizza there in 20 minutes. Seven minutes, nine seconds? Whew. You're really slipping now. <laughs> ah, so much bad luck. I do not know how things could get any worse. <sighs> oh, no! Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? <laughs> Pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? Vito, when you get a chance, could we have some more breadsticks? Sure thing, Mr. Arbuckle. I used to be so good at delivering a pizzas. What has happened to me? Vito's Pizzeria. Vito speaking. Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? I know, I know. One pepperoni pizza. Charge it to your credit card right away, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, Vito, don't forget our breadsticks. In a minute, Mr. Arbuckle. First, I have to make a pizza to deliver to Mr. Arbuckle. Wait a minute. How could Mr. Arbuckle order a pizza from home when he's... <laughs> smelly, sneaky type of pussycat. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? <laughs> Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? I wonder if I can edit this thing to say sausage and mushroom. I'm getting a little tired of pepperoni. <sighs> 42 minutes. Huh, he isn't even trying. Guess it took him a while to get through the quicksand. <laughs> Sorry, Vito. Another free pizza. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, <laughs> 
How much longer do I have to do this? Garfield, do not come home until you earn enough to pay Vito for all those pizzas. I should have ordered Chinese food. Garfield, do not come home until you earn enough to pay Vito for all those pizzas. But I'm going to... No. If I could talk or had money, I'd thank you and tip you. <laughs> the joy of Vito's lasagna, it always puts a smile on our faces. Vito, what happened to you? We're getting to the bottom of this. Wait for me, guys! I'm sorry, Mr. Arbuckle. Sorry, Kitty Cat and the Puppy Dog. I guess Vito has just not been himself lately. Not since she left me. She? Whew. Angelica, the most beautiful woman on the planet. This is the woman who ruined my dinner? She brought out the best in me. The passion I bring to my cooking. Here you are, La Mia Stella. Pasta alla vito, cooked with love, and also with a marinara sauce. Ah, Vito, your cooking is superb. We were so happy until he came into our lives. She met him somewhere and was taken. Brent Mogul. Brent Mogul, the real estate tycoon? The guy who builds all those buildings? He builds buildings, but he destroys your relationships. I will never forget what she said to me. You are very sweet, Vito. But Brent... Brent creates mighty buildings. He creates skyscrapers, and the towers, and the roads, and mini malls. All you create, Vito, is eggplant parmesan. I go now to be with Brent. Farewell, Vito. Maybe Brent and I will order a pizza someday. After we are married. Nothing has been the same since that day. Not even my lasagna. We know. <laughs> Here, blow that nose of yours before you hurt someone with it. <laughs> Here is the last lasagna I made before she broke my heart. I think you should have it, Kitty Cat. You always loved it so. You'll get over her, Vito. Never! My heart it is a broken! And since I cook with my heart, my cooking, she's a broken too! <sighs> Poor Vito. Be careful with that, Garfield. That could be the last good Vito lasagna you'll ever have. <sighs> Maybe we should get an armored car to take it home. <sighs> Here you go. Enjoy it while you can. Farewell, lasagna. My faithful friend. No, I can't let this be the last Vito's lasagna. I have to find a way to get Vito and Angelica back together. Hmm. Yes! I know how to do it. 
Come on, Odie. Brent Mogul Real Estate Investments. I'm sorry, Mr. Mogul's in a meeting and can't be disturbed. I'll disturb him. Uh, I've almost acquired the land necessary for my next project. A city within a city. The city of the future. Ah, oh, Brent, you are amazing. I can't tell you how much I admire all the things you do. Go ahead, try. Hmm. You're important. You're a man of the future. You're... Oh, Brent, do you smell lasagna? No. Why? Oh, uh, I was just reminded of someone. Someone kind of sweet. Someone who liked to make me happy. <laughs> But never mind him. He's in my past. Are those the plans for the new development? Yeah, looks like we wasted our time. How could she dump Vito for a guy who's just gonna tear down old buildings and put up new ones? Yes, but I'll do better than show you plans. I'll show you the area where we're starting demolition. <gasps> A personal tour for my wife-to-be. <laughs> hey, look, Odie. This is what he's going to do downtown. That's West Central Street. So Vito should be right about... Oh, that's odd. Vito should be right there, but there's a tanning salon. He's going to... He's going to get rid of Vito's. Hey, you two shouldn't be in here. All these. I'm locking you two up and calling the pal. Let's not let him do that. Hey, you come back here. Notice how in chase huh? scenes, the guy chasing always yells, you come back here, even though no one ever does. <laughs> Hey, you come back here! You're right. He's gonna catch us unless I do something drastic. Farewell. I'm sacrificing you for a good cause. I'll have him seal off the exits and... Placing that building with a store that sells cell phones. But you're opening two cell phone stores in the last block. Hey, <laughs> you can't have too many stores that sell cell phones. I'm thinking of opening cell phone stores inside other cell phone stores. Coming true. Oh, the kitty cat who was such a good customer of my old friend, Vito. Speaking of Vito's restaurant, take a look at this. <laughs> Take down that corner building next! Sorry if they're a little damp, they've been in a dog's mouth. Brent, where's Vito's restaurant on these plans? That little Italian place? Oh, I'm tearing it down. I want this whole block cleared by nightfall! But uh, that's uh, his uh, business, and uh, he's alive! He's so proud of that uh, restaurant! I'm putting a tanning salon there. Hey, let's knock down that pizza place now. You can't do that. I can do whatever I want. I'm Brent Mogul. I'll even knock it down myself. Oh. Ugh. behind the controls of the wrecking ball. Ready, Gorman! 
Bond here, reporting live from outside Vito's Pizzeria, where real estate tycoon Brent Mogul is about to tear the place down. Personally. Yahoo! Mr. Mogul! Eddie Gorman here! You've seen me on TV! How can you knock this building down? You don't even own it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> A minor technicality. I'll buy it tomorrow. I'm tearing it down today. You will not tear down this building, Brent Mogul. You destroyed one love of my life. You will not get to the other. Get out of the way, fella. I'm Brent Mogul. I get what I want, and I want a tanning salon there. One little chef won't stop me. How about one chef and a cartoonist? Then a cat and a puppy dog. And a nationally famous food critic with his own TV program! Uh, maybe we ought to sort of move. Nothing will stop him. I bet I know who can. Okay, okay. Maybe I can put my tanning salon somewhere else. Yeah! Oh boy! <laughs> now Angelica and Vito will get back together again. And his cooking will once again be inspired. Angelica! Oh. <laughs> I thought she was coming back to me. I thought so too, Vito. I'm sorry. I guess it was just not meant to be. <gasps> Vito's Pizzeria. Hello. Oh? This is Angelica. Would you please send over the best Italian food in the world? And the man who makes it. That smile. Huh? What does it mean? I think it means we're both getting back what we loved and lost. If you will excuse me, gentlemen, Vito feels inspired. <laughs> <laughs>